I was driving home tonight and a thought dropped in my spirit that God doesn't really need much. There's only two things that he needs, and that is a yes and a yielded spirit to follow it through. See, for many of us, myself included, we try to look at all of the things that we need to accomplish. We think about how we're not able to step out and do until I have this together, or I have that together, or I got this and I got that. And while we're looking at this mountain above us, we're missing out on the manifestation of what God can do, even with what seems to be not so much. I thought about two instances in the Bible, the first with the woman who um, needed money and she went to the prophet and the prophet asked her, what do you have? And she said, I have nothing but a little bit of oil in the house. See, she saw it as nothing, but don't you realize that in God's hands, it becomes everything. And after following the instructions that were given to her, she had a yes, I'll obey. And her spirit was yielded to it. The oil that was little became much until she over flowed and had more to not only sell and pay for what she needed, but then she had extra. I thought about this other instance when David went to battle or went down to the land of battle. And while he was down there, the, the king or Saul, he said to him, listen, you can't fight the Philistine in, that, in, in what you're looking like. You have to put on the armor. And David said to him, I have not tried this, meaning I have not found myself to be a accomplishing anything in this. But what I do have is a slingshot and five smooth stones. See, for him, he knew that what he had in his hand may not seem like much to anybody else, but in his hand with a yes and a yielded spirit, God can move mountains and do major. And as a matter of fact, them that had weapons and all of this that they thought they needed couldn't even take down the giant. But he, this young, small boy, was able to do it with his slingshot and one smooth stone. You have shortchanged yourself in the magnitude of what you can do because you have limited what's already in your hands. But if I encourage you, God doesn't need much. He can multiply what looks to be so small into something so great if we have two simple things, a yes and a yielded spirit to obey. I tell you one more time, God don't need much. All he needs you to give him a real yes and to simply obey.